this video we're going to take a look at some of the basic functionality of Cable Guy's Curve 2 CM. Let's start by creating sound from scratch. To start, click the new button. The initial preset is a sine wave and you can hear its waveform displayed in the large window. The easiest way to change the waveform is to use one of the waveform icons. Let's click the saw button. The waveform will change to a saw shape and the sound will change too. You'll notice that the bar graph behind the waveform changes. This displays the harmonic content of the waveform. We can see these values change in real time as we edit the waveform. To create a new point, right click anywhere on the waveform. You can drag this point around to change the shape of the waveform and you'll also see the graph behind the waveform move to reflect the change in the sound's harmonic content. Let's add another point and arrange the points to create a pulse waveform like so. Okay, so these points we've created are hard points. Um, we can also create a couple of other types of points as well. Left click somewhere on the waveform. This soft point doesn't have as much effect on the waveform and merely bends the closest part of the curve. If you double click it, it'll turn into a sharp point, which works a bit like a bendy version of a hard point, and it can be used to avoid sharp modulations, which may otherwise cause clicks in the resulting audio. Curve 2CM has three oscillator waveforms. Oscillator 1 uses waveforms 1 and 2, which can be balanced with the crossfade knob. Oscillator 2 uses waveform 3, and waveform 4 is reserved for modulation. Click the saw icon to return our waveform to the sawtooth shape. Click where it says off in the filters panel to bring up a list of available filter types. Select 12dB LP. Next in the modulation matrix, turn the LFO to filter cut one value up to 100 like so. Now when you play a note you'll hear the slowly moving LFO modulate the filter cutoff frequency. To view the source of the modulation, click the 4 icon on the left hand side of the wave panel. This will display another sign shape. Add some points to the waveform and create your own more complex LFO shape. When you play the sound back, you'll hear the more complex modulation. To make it more apparent, turn up the resonance knob in the filter panel. Next, let's take a look at the macros panel. Turn the fatness knob all the way up to 100% and hear how the sound has become thicker and stereo. The macro controls don't actually change the sound themselves, but rather they're shortcuts to changing multiple other parameters with a single knob. To see what the knob actually does, click the spyglass icon in the macro panel. This shows that the knob is assigned to increase the unisono detune spread and damping parameters. It also turns down the master volume to compensate for the increased volume this generates. Curve TCM also has frequency modulation capability. Click the new button to initialize the patch and turn up the envelope generator by oscillator 1 to oscillator 2 FM modulation amount in the matrix. This causes oscillator 1 to frequency modulate oscillator 2 by a level determined by the envelope generator. The current setting, this results in a slowly moving FM tone. Turn up the fatness to turn the sound into a lovely organic pad.